Hi, my name is Aubrey Sermon and I'm a doctoral student in the Department of Biology at NDSU. Live fast, die young. We've all heard this phrase. And in fact, this phrase describes a fundamental tenet of life history theory, and that's trade-offs. So this is the idea that organisms have a fixed amount of resources that they have to divvy up among competing life history traits like growth, reproduction, or aging. And of course, if you invest more into one trait like growth, then you have less to invest in another like aging. My research focuses on the physiological mechanisms that mediate these trade-offs, specifically the trade-off between growth and aging in birds. And one mechanism that I think might be particularly important is insulin like growth factor one. IGF-1 is a hormone that is part of an ancient signaling pathway and can be found in tiny worms, birds, and even humans and high levels of IGF-1 are associated with increased growth and reduced lifespan in many species. Now you're probably wondering by now, like why birds? Well, one, birds are awesome. And two, they might also offer unique insight into this trade-off. For example, if we look within a group, mammals of a similar size grow and age about the same. But when we look across a group, like from mammals to birds, things change. So for example, this mouse, and this house sparrow are about the same size, but this house sparrow can live nearly three times longer. Now, because I actually want to finish my dissertation, I'll be measuring cellular aging in house sparrows rather than lifespan. And one way I can measure cellular aging is through oxidative stress. Oxidative stress happens when your cells produce energy. And when this occurs, they also produce these harmful byproducts called free radicals. Your body can counteract these free radicals with antioxidants, but when it can't keep up, that can lead to cell damage and increase aging. Another way we can measure aging is through telomeres. Telomeres are DNA at the end of your chromosomes that shorten as you age and in response to oxidative stress. And it turns out in birds, telomeres are even predictive of lifespan. Now to investigate growth and aging trade-offs in house sparrows, I'll be manipulating IGF-1 measuring growth, telomeres, and oxidative stress. And if IGF-1 is an important mediator between growth and aging, then I'd expect those birds with lots of IGF-1 circulating in their blood to have faster growth, shorter telomeres, and increased oxidative stress. Of course, these birds might also live shorter lives, but I'm gonna leave that for another grad student to figure out. Thank you.